Alrighty, so what is up? <clears throat> what is up, ladies and gentlemen? All right, we're back with the daily uploads, and uh, well, we got some interest in the day. All right, now we all know I don't talk about uh this vegan creature on the channel anymore, but uh there's just certain situations I have to talk about her, and well, I saw August the Duck drop a video on this, so I kind of had to get my two cents too. Now we all know that vegan teacher. Uh, I, I obviously don't talk about her anymore because it's been beaten down a million times, but there's certain occasions, like I said, that I need to. Excuse me talk about this woman and this is one of those times now We all know uh, that the queen of the great Britain uh, the great British people uh, Passed away. Yes, she passed away the queen. She's like 96 years old now I know a lot of people have differing opinions on her, but I'm not gonna let those opinions uh, be displayed in this video I'm still gonna you know say rest in peace uh, You know, I'm gonna send out my well wishes to the family uh, the royal family to be exact So cuz I ain't trying to disrespect nobody plus I'm not really hip into what people People don't like her for or anything like that all I know is that a human being died and I'm paying my condolences to them so yeah that, that's pretty much with that but we all know that vegan teachers pretty ruthless and stupid and well she made a video disrespecting the queen we're reacting to it it's goofy and I'm gonna get on this skeleton's head so let's get into it hey everyone so I guess by now you all heard about the Queen of England dying now it's kind of wondering what you all thought about her but first of all, let me show you what's written on my shirt, okay? It says, vegan, because paying. I ain't gonna lie, gang. I do not care what is written on your shirt whatsoever. We're not here to see about your shirt. We're here to see what you have to say about uh, the Queen of England, who obviously passed away. And we know this goof nut has absolutely nothing respectful to say at all. If I had to predict, she's gonna say, oh, she wasn't vegan. She eats animals, so her, her time was coming. She spent 96 years eating meat. I'm gonna just... You know, random, random guess here, but yeah, I mean, it's vegan teacher. All right. Like, this woman has been a goof nut since the existence of my channel, and she's just progressively got more and more annoying. Like, I don't even want to be here right now, bro. I just want to, I just want something to talk about real quick, and this, this loser so happens to be the target. See, I became vegan when I found out what happens to the animals, about all these terrible things that we do to them. And yes, we do. It's not just my country. It's every country. There are so many places that abuse animals. The Holocaust never ended for them. Pigs are still being murdered in gas chambers at six months old. And so many billions of animals are needlessly harmed every single day because the people who eat them, wear them, and use them. At y'all, at this, at y'all point, at this point, y'all know what I think about her saying this. I'm not gonna repeat the same points I've repeated a million times throughout my career on YouTube. Long story short, you know exactly how I feel about this bot. To give a quick brief summary for those who don't know, uh, life cycle equals death, death equals more people, more living organisms being reborn, so animals dying is really just the life cycle continuing like, obviously just just randomly like taking out an animal is just ruthless but like if it's to you know keep the you know life cycle going keep people eating keep stuff going and you know okay it's just what goes on nothing you can do about it it's the life we live boohoo so i don't know what this has to do with the queen though like uh you mentioned her once like can you just get to the point and like stop beating around the bush you skeleton so I'm wondering what you think about the queen. Now she died in her 90s. Now let's just assume at the beginning of her life, just like all of us, she was innocent and she was just being fed these dead animals without really knowing what's going on. You know, I always say on this channel that we are all born vegan because being vegan is about the animals. It's not about food, it's not about health. It's about making the declaration that you are not gonna exploit animals anymore and really working hard towards that end. So the queen, like all of us, was just born innocent, was born vegan, and was fed dead animals by her parents. She opened her mouth, do, mouth dutifully, just like we all did. We didn't know the difference between carrots and peas and spaghetti and potatoes and a dead pig or a dead fish or a dead lamb or a dead baby cow, otherwise known as veal. I still don't see what this has to do anything because uh, I don't know if you guys are religious or not, but I grew up with a religious background, so I'm just going to say this. But once you die, if we're going based off religion, the only person that can judge what you've done in your life is Jesus Christ himself. 
and she don't look like Jesus Christ to me. I mean, the queen wasn't a person who was like the sweetest person ever. We've already established that. That doesn't mean I'm gonna sit here and disrespect her passing away or anything like that, but we already know she wasn't the sweetest person, and I don't think anybody ever born could just be a, a pure good not doing anything bad type of person not defending some of the things that she's been apparently has done in her lifetime or anything like that at the end of the day she's a human being too and judging what she did in her lifetime if that's eating animals and going against uh you know animal rights and whatnot uh the only person that's gonna judge her for that like i said religious here i'm religious all right is jesus christ technically so i don't know why you're trying to use this as like some kind of a point like she's already gone dude she lived 95 90 six years on this planet and you didn't cry or complain about it once throughout those 96 years so now when her time has come you want to like make a whole video criticizing her for it boo hoo you're like an absolute bot still doing the same thing you did in early 2021 bro move on and drop the whole vegan thing like talk about something new like it's it's honestly irritating like i i can cover this woman like once every six months or something like that or when she does something big but i gotta remember throughout the time i don't talk about her or i may revisit her every once in a while uh she's still consistently doing this stuff daily she has probably made thousands of videos and content about being vegan but at some point the queen of england must have been aware about what's going on i mean she's not a stupid lady she went all around the world talked to so many people surely she must have been at some point intrigued by the word vegan she must have driven, driven by in one of her limousines and seen, you know, a vegan store or a label on something that said vegan. She must have known what the word meant. She must have known about the animals. Yeah, I'm pretty sure every freaking human being on the planet has uh, heard of the word vegan, but that doesn't mean they have to make it their whole lifestyle or, like, live by that, dog. I can guarantee every person watching this video has heard of that word, obviously, because of you and just obviously many other things, but that don't mean we gotta make it our whole life and live by it. Like, sure, it's something you can be open-minded to, but that doesn't mean you have to apply it to your life. Just how you aren't open to, obviously, people eating meat, that doesn't mean you gotta apply it. Well, obviously, you know what it is, but that doesn't mean you have to apply that to your life and you didn't you chose not to you chose to be vegan and people chose not to boohoo what does that have to do with the queen being dead i don't understand so why didn't she become vegan that's what i'm intrigued about like all of these supposedly good people what stops them this is why on this channel i try to reach out to so many creators who have millions of followers uh, the vast majority of them don't listen to me. But, you know, that's out of my control. I can still try to reach them with the message. Now, if I could have talked to the Queen of England, I would have said to her, excuse me, um, but you can even hire a vegan chef. You can easily change what you're eating. That's the thing. You can do what you want to do, but she didn't choose to. So who cares? Like, she's dead, bro. She's dead and gone, and she ain't coming back. She ain't coming back, bro. She can't change what she did in her life. It's over, all right? She ate meat probably her whole life, and nobody cares. It's her choice. It's her choice, buddy. You choose to eat leaves and stuff tree bark down your throat while she, while she chose to eat steak. Nobody cares. Like, I'm just so tired of every time I cover her, like, just having to endure the pain and suffering, like... God, dude, I, I just don't get I it. I think this woman's gonna forever be stupid, and I don't feel like she'll ever gain brain cells, but I mean, what do I expect? She's been doing this for a year. Anybody who's been doing this type of content for that long, then no evolution, no change whatsoever, and then, I mean, they, they gotta be, like, psychotic. Like, she's definitely for sure psychotic. And promote veganism to all of the people that you talk to. You know, you could wear a shirt that says this. Can you imagine the Queen of England going around wearing this shirt? How cool would that be, right? But why didn't she do it? Because there's a difference between polite and kindness. When you're polite, you say please and thank you and you sit up straight, hold the door open for people, wear your little white gloves and your hat and your little pearls and you don't disturb anyone. That's being polite, but it's not the same thing as being kind. Being truly kind involves bravery bro don't nobody care about what you're talking about bro like oh my god the woman in her 96 years didn't choose to advocate veganism it just wasn't something she wanted to do nobody cares 
Like, damn, bro, what is wrong with this brain? I I can't say what I want to say, bro. I'm not trying to get nuked by Susan Wajaki, but, bro, shut your... Oh, my God, bro. Like, she's literally Quandale Dingle. It involves digging down deep and doing what's right. Even if you won't be popular. Even if people won't like you. Just because you can imagine what it would be like to be the victim. You can just put yourself in their place. You can imagine the terror and the suffering of these innocent pigs who are just six months old, who are being gathered after a lifetime of hell and shoved into gas chambers the same way that the Nazis did to the Jews. And yes, I am comparing them the two, the two of them because what happens to the animals is in fact worse. Because instead of it being by the millions, it's by the billions. And instead of it ending, it continues. Yeah, and on that note, I just want to let you know I don't care, all right? Keep talking about all that stuff, and I'm just going to keep uh, chilling over here, making my videos for the viewers of the channel, my homies, the gang, all right? But I'm out. I can't deal with talking about this bot anymore. I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Peace.